<laughs> well, there you are again. Charlie Greer podcast. I do this every day. Today, we're doing the murder of Yang Yang Shang. Hope I said that right. Yang Yang Shang. If not, I'm sorry. I'm a dumbass. But uh, yeah, so uh, Yang Yang was a, 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 a transfer student at the U of I, University of Illinois. She came from China. And the University of Illinois, uh, Fighting Illini, U of I, I was in Champaign-Urbana, Illinois. I used to live there. I have kind of a background there. You know, I um, I kind of consider it like a hometown, kind of, like a second hometown. But anyway, she comes to University of Illinois, and then, uh, yeah, crime. Dun, dun, dun. So let me explain about University of Illinois. It is top 10 college, a great school. That town, Champ- it's actually two towns. The university kind of straddles both those towns. I always lived in Urbana. Um, I went to Urbana High School. Uh, I didn't go to U of I. I went to Parkland, which is in Champaign. It's like a you know, junior college. But great town, um, full of, I mean, people from all over the world study there. Uh, just bright minds. Oper- I was there in like the 80s and 90s, and it was awesome. I got to tell you, like, uh, I love Champaign Urbana. Um, there were so many bands and clubs and cool people. I mean, again, students are out and about and this, that, and the other. It was awesome. And the culture, you're going to get meet people from all over the world. You're going to eat food. There's little restaurants here and there. And then, again, the, the culture was um, to this day, I'm grateful for Champagne Urbana because I, what I learned there <laughs> to this day helps me with the world. Just go out in the world and being, you know, uh, thank you. See you. Shampoo banana, some people call it. And yeah, University of Illinois is a great school. Uh, at the time, my girlfriend, her father was a, a professor at the U of I University. Um, and Champaign Urban, Illinois, the U of I, Fight Illini, they have the most Chinese uh, students of any college in America. They're the most welcoming. And um, U of I, I mean, does it, people don't really think about the University of Illinois, but like, the two that started YouTube are graduates from there. And uh, the soybean was, I mean, everything you would, um, but they're not braggadocious. They're not going to have, Hey, no, I love the attitude of, again, people said it's changed. Like I've talked to people that are there and uh, they like, Oh no, it's not how it used to be Charlie. And they showed me footage of like, Oh, they, they cut down a lot of trees around there. I remember all these trees, they're gone. I don't know why they would do that, but maybe there were sick trees. Who knows? Um, And just like anywhere, there's going to be good and bad. You know, there's going to be, uh, unfortunately, Champagne has gotten more dangerous. It was, it was listed as like the, in the top 10 of like the most dangerous small towns, which blows my mind. Like, I can't believe, and Urbana too. I think Champagne was number six, uh, two on the list. And and then Urbana was number six. Like, huh? What? (laughs) What's going on? I mean. Because there's like local, there's Urbana police, Champagne police, and then there's campus police, and there there's camera. Like what? Huh? What's? I mean, I don't get it. Um, but that's just the world. Maybe it's just the world we're in. Like people are just 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 kind of. It's gotten dangerous everywhere, I guess. So yeah, I was in Champaign, Urbana. I I uh, was in bands, you know, a few bands in my band. You know, we were this that you know, the playing Mabel's, Blind Pig, the. Uh, Channing Murray, like all the everywhere around there and in the state and up through, we, we started playing all over. Um, and there is crime. There is campus crime. There is, you know, bad areas of any town you go to. So Yang Yang came to town. She'd only been there for like a couple weeks. Um, she was getting, I think she, she was in the PhD program. Uh, smart, bright. That's the kind of people you want to go to the, you know, um, And it was like June 9th, 2017, I think it was. Beautiful, sunny day. Uh, Campus is beautiful. The University of Illinois is nice. I mean, the quad and just, it's just, uh, I miss campus town. I miss the campus. We used to just go to the quad and hang out, like play guitars and, you know, just, I mean, would they let you do that now? Comment below if anybody sees this one. Is it still cool like it used to be? Um. Could you just go and smoke cigarettes on the quad and play guitar? I don't know. Um, so yeah, she June she just moved to town. 
uh, and she was going to look at an apartment. Um, she had had one apartment. I think it was too expensive, so she wanted another one. So she goes, and uh, of course, she didn't have a car, and she's taking the bus, which is great. Uh, I'm sure the 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 buses around there are awesome, run in for every 15 minutes. Um, and so she gets a bus, try to get another bus, and then she misses the bus. So she's standing, you know, and there's footage of this, right? Because she went missing, and so we got the footage of her at a bus. Here comes this dude, Brent Christensen, is it Brent, Brent, who was like an undergraduate, like a, um, you know, a University of Illinois student. I don't know if he had graduated or not, but uh, so there's footage of um, him pulling up. Now let's talk about him. Okay. Uh, one thing I didn't like about the University of Illinois or living in Champaign-Urbana was you could get away with a lot if you were a student. Like you could do, you'd be like, you could be acting like suspicious and weird like oh he's a universe he's an undergrad like they just kind of like let no he just because he's going to the university doesn't mean he it's kind of like a a pass you know and so he <laughs> his wife was out of town i hate to laugh but his wife was out of town he sees her there he circles around whatever and he picks her up now how do we know this because there was cameras there's like two thousand cameras on campus and they caught the uh him picking her up so supposedly what he did he took her back home he did horrible things he murdered her and then they've never found her body now the question is do you out of the blue so your wife's out of town do you plan a murder like that that he didn't he know those cameras see there's something suspicious about this uh i of course yeah he did it but were other people involved and weren't there warning signals? Like you just don't, you know, and that and that crime to be that bold and brazen tells me he's done it before, man. You just don't their first murder, your first crime, do them kind. No, he got lazy. He got he'd done this. Are there other missing people around that area? Are there uh, MOs like modus operandi? You know, it, can, it could be a hundred miles away too. There, because they, they, that's what you do. You would travel, you don't want to be doing crime in your backyard. Unless you get comfortable, unless you get lazy, unless you get, you know, yeah. Again, people are crazy. So let's say that he's, he's he's a narcissist, a sociopath, a psychopath. Didn't anybody pick up on that? Don't they give like psychological testing to those students? Do they? I mean, maybe. Um, and you know, you there's probably people that were talking him up. Well, he's the best. He'll be, you know, Christensen, and he's a fucking murder and rapist piece of shit. Uh. Again, my gut feeling, and I think that they got him on, see, they didn't ever find her body. And um, they got him on, like, I think, kidnapping and assault, because I don't think they charged him with murder because they never found her body, but he's in life. He's got life without parole plus 10 years or something. Um, Is he in general population? <laughs> Does he need protection? Uh, he should be protected because or send in the gen pop just send in the gen population that that problem will take care of itself um and they have him on camera like going to the grocery store buying booze and drano and garbage bag like huh and i was talking to a friend and she was saying that that's the same grocery store she went to and it's just like what it's sad here's a bright mind you know uh coming to United States, Illinois, University of Illinois, beautiful campus, beautiful people. I'm telling you that Champaign-Urbana is a great town. I am fortunate that I got to live there as long as I did and experience um, what I did. And I love that place. There's so many cool bands. And people tell me it's not like that anymore. There's not as many people to play. I mean, uh, there is many bands. There's not places to play. There's not as, you know, this, that, and other thing. Because you should be able every night, there'd be like, Five to ten gigs. I mean, they had touring bands would come through, and they had the the, the Humongo Dome there. I forgot what they call that the big arena. And um, has it changed that much? Comment below if you. I doubt anybody from Champagne or Van is what kind of watches. Moving on. So I, I'm suspicious of this Christensen guy. He uh, pulled up. I think he said he was a cop. Like he was, oh, get in, I'll help you. You know, say, yeah. 
She might have seen him. I doubt that she'd seen him around. But how do you get someone in the car and then get them to your place? See, something suspicious about that. Something is not right. Uh, I don't know. I uh, My gut feeling tells me that on the low end, he was probably on the dark web or whatever on these sites, you know, these weirdo sites. You know, you just don't, again, you just don't wake up one day and go, well, you know what? I'm going to plan an assault, a, a kidnapping, and a murder. I mean, well, how does that happen? You just get on the wrong side of the bed and you're grumpy? Like, well, I think I'll just go. No. It's a progressive kind of thing. That tells me he got, he was already doing that. That's what these murderers and rapists and all this stuff will do is they get like, cause they're, they've gotten away with it for so long. There's other things in his, uh, I guarantee you, you just don't get up and do that. And also <coughs> they like to hang around each other. Birds with feathers stick together. I'd be interrogating everybody. He talked to every friend, everybody. Maybe they did. And why do they only have that one, that that footage? I guess they do have footage of him at the grocery store, but don't they have footage? Like everybody's got doorknob cameras and, you know, everyone's on their phone. Nobody saw anything. And let's just say he took her back to the hotel, I mean, uh, his apartment or house, whatever he had. Obviously he had to, did he dismember her? Did he wrap her in a blanket? Did anybody see anything suspicious? Or are they just so blinded by, oh, his education, his mind. It's kind of like, oh, he's eccentric, don't you? He's just throwing away a rug wrapped up or something. Like, how does that happen? They never found her. What, where did he go? There's cornfields that are endless. There's creeks. There's other shit. Was he targeting in the Asian community? Again, I... Uh, University of Illinois has the biggest Chinese, uh, the most Chinese students of any uh, university. I love Chinese culture. I love Chinese foods, one of my favorite foods. I moved from LA in February back to Illinois, but I'm not in, I'm not in Champaign or Bahia anymore. Um, and I lived in Arcadia, which is a uh, Chinese neighborhood. Safe. It's uh, a little more expensive than, but it's worth it. I love my Chinese neighbors. They were so funny and just, they're just, uh, you know, once you get past, you know, the neighbor, everybody's scared in LA, like, oh, who, what, what? Once you got to get to know people, man, they're, they're, they're great people, you know? My days, the last six years, I live in California, we're hanging around Chinese. I mean, I, um, I love my Chinese. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I miss being around that culture. And the food and the again the humor and the the openness like people you know they they, they 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 they're going after everybody right and they're demonizing every kind of culture and they're, they're the Chinese man to get the shit we leave the Chinese alone I mean I don't get it I don't get how he obviously targeted was it was he just cruising around saw her like yeah that's that I don't I don't know because I'm not thinking of long I'm not a psychopath and i know most psychopaths don't act on their mental illness um and i guess when they do it's bad uh because he he circled around he came hey and you know that's another thing you know what you got in mind but you're or maybe did he have it in mind he was already buying drano and and, and bags did he do it before this and that did he have that in mind or did it escalate and then he just, oh my God, I'll get caught. And he freaked out. His psychopathic behavior kicked in and he didn't. And he was married. His wife was out of town. Didn't she have any signals? She's living with this dude. She's sharing a bed. Don't you? I mean, are they that charming? Are they that? Can they just turn it on or some one day it just snapped? I don't know. I mean, it's strange to me. Because you know, Champagne Urbana, for one, it's expensive to go to school there and you got to have good grades. You just can't like, well, see, I want it now. No, 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 no. Um, the dudes that started YouTube were from there, man. I mean, you got to be smart. That's another thing I'm grateful about being in Champagne. It's like, I hate to kind of say this, but it made me smarter just to be around people. And, you know, everything's always going on and this and that. It was it was, it was awesome. Um, some of the best times of my life from Champagne Urbana. Shampoo Banana. 
Um, and then, of course, in Champaign, there's they call them townies, like people that are just from there. And a lot of times they work at the university and they, you know, this, that and the other. And then there's just people that move that are just there's jobs. There's, a you know, and there is like kind of a. a um, see, there's OK, <laughs> just to be honest, every semester there are new people moving their students. A lot of times they've never been away from home. They've got money. They can afford these apartments or what these state streets or these big houses or sororities and fraternities. Or, and there are locals that will not take advantage of that, but it's almost like a cottage industry. You know, you um, you can write papers for students. You can uh, photography, everything, because people are starting bands. They're doing the, the, the painting, they're, the, the dancing. I mean, everything, anything you want to do. It's a good starting point if you want to like... Um, Back in the day, when I was there in like the 80s and 90s, when the music scene was just popping off, we were getting like international attention. People would move to Champaign-Urbana to start a band. I knew people that did. A lot of great bands. A lot of great bands. I st to this day still listen to uh, the bands that I, so most of them I got to play with. And then, of course, see them. I'd go to see bands like every night for years. Uh, spent my 20s in a club. Um, and then behind the scenes, like bookers, booking people that book the gigs, little fanzines, the radio people. University of Illinois has their own college radio. I did interviews on that. I was on WEFT, which is like the nonprofit. Bless WEFT's heart. I mean, I <laughs> I DJed one night at WEFT a couple times. Um, W-E-F-T. Played live. <laughs> With both of my bands. Yeah, on web. Good times. Um, but I have a sne sneaky suspicion that there are other probably unsolved murders. And this might be a series. I might go down the rabbit hole of this murder and see if there are any MOs that fit within like a 150 mile radius. Um, Because that's what you'll do. They'll get closer and closer to home. You know, they'll go out and go to wherever they're going, and then they kind of, you know, right around that time, earlier that year, there were the Delphi murders, these two young girls. Did he, what, huh? That's right down, how far away is that? Like an hour, hour and a half? I don't know. Have they looked into him? Tested his DNA? Because they're still trying to find the Delphi murders. It was killing, killed two girls, Abby and Libby. And uh, it's a rabbit hole to go down, You, if you want to. So their murder was in February of 2017. He did this in June. Is there a tie to that? Did he, did they go, did they, they got his computer. Do they have any kind of, was he on the dark web? Was he like communicating with others? Suspicious. Again, this is just my humble opinion. I don't, I, I, you know, <laughs> I'm not a, a, I can't solve anything. But, um, I think he's just, we need to look into him. We need to be, he needs to be tipped into the Delphi. Pardon me. I'm not well. Um, that's what you would do if you're one of those crazy, creepy murderers. As you go out here and about, then you get laid. Like, oh, I'm good at this now. I said, I don't have to. You know, again, his mind crazy. Good, good. I'll do. Yeah, going to camp to, to abduct somebody on campus. To, they're gonna find you, bro. There's so many cameras. There's so many. They're you know, dumbass. I mean, or subconsciously, did he want to get caught? Because I don't think he said much. I don't think he's like, no, nope, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. He didn't tell him where she was at. I mean, he didn't even admit that he did it. He's denying it. It seemed like in 2017, there's a lot of murders going on there. And then they kind of stopped after he, uh, is he connected to other? I think he is. I have a feeling that this, this isn't just one thing. People don't do that. They just don't, well, yep, see, I'm just going to get up one morning and uh, we'll see, have breakfast. Uh, no, you don't. That's not how it is. You know, that's not, um, that is, it, 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 that, it, that you don't do that. You mosey into crime, you get, you, you know, you, it takes a while, you know, I'm sure people one night get drunk, whatever, and kill, but this seems planned, you know, to abduct somebody 
on campus town where there's kids and everywhere and everybody's seen it and you're on camera? Did you forget that you were, or was he connected to, again, crime is weird. Unfortunately, there are levels of crime. There's crimes within crimes. There's people that are corrupt. That's just high, you know, shit. Was he connected to something? Was he just hung up to dry? Was he told what to do? I don't know. Again, I don't, I, I'm just speculating here. Assumption. Uh, in my humble opinion, I don't know. I, I, I'm just, uh, again, this might be, I might keep on, I'm, this might be a series. And pray for Yang Yang and her family and pray for Champaign-Urbana and the U of I. You know, Vought, man, that's a beautiful campus. It's a uh, um, great town. Again, I've heard something like it's changed, but times always change. Every generation, they say that. You know, hey, back my, we could nickel beers. Now, you know, I get that too. My hair is driving me crazy. I gotta cut that hair. Uh <laughs> I hate to laugh, but um, why didn't she run or fight or scream or do whatever? Like, what did he have some kind of like hypno? Oh, must come. I don't know. Was he a Dracula type jet? <clears throat> How did he lure her? Or was nobody around? Did he have to drag her in the house? What happened? Suspicious. Something ain't right. Uh, and of course, if you were in, if you were connected to like, say, if he was, he was even connected to other people, they were make sharing like violent porn or whatever they were. They don't want so the hang him out the dry. Oh, there he's done. Okay, bye. Oh, it's done. See, now he's in jail. I don't get that. Did they find the DNA at the house? Did he like? What did his wife say? Like this Christian guy, he, he was married. She happened to be out of town. So what are you going to do? Okay. She's out of town. I got some time. What are you going to do? Plan a abduction and a kidnapping and a murder? I guess that had that. Yeah, that's what he did. Um, did he have friends? Did they? Uh, was it a something? I, I, my, my, again, I'm going by my gut, my intuition, and then what I know from crime. I'm a crime. I like to listen. You know, since I was you know watching documentaries, I know it's kind of morbid, but um. Uh, a lot of people do. A lot of people love true crime. I love true crime, paranormal, you name it. Man. Um, and uh, if there was a documentary about a murder in Bigfoot, I'd be watching it. I mean, that's just how <laughs> he was Bigfoot. He liked to murder. Dun, dun. Yeah, I'll be watching that a couple times, probably. But I think that she, I don't get, for one, you just got here from China. Wouldn't you be kind of, and they warn these students, like, hey, you know, in their uh, orientation, like, look, you got to, you know, there's people that, that rob students that like, that, that's a thing too. You know, that's, a, that's, they all have money and this, that, and the other, and they're kind of naive. They've never been away from home. I mean, it's sad that she had just gotten there, you know, um, and he was, a undergraduate, like, 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 again, he was being pushed. Like, he's a bright mind. He just that, no, but see, I, I, didn't anybody notice anything? Did anybody say, like, or was he that cunning? Just like, oh, I'm just charming and I'm a, was he like Ted Bundy or something? I looked at his, uh, his, um, like mug shots. He just looks mean. He just looks like, I don't care if you know anymore. I'm, <laughs> I'm free. I can be who I, you know, again, is he tied to that Delphi murder of the two girls, Abby and Libby? Because, again, that happened in February of the same year. He got busted in June. Did he just have a, a you know, <laughs> I think something's going on. They need to look into that. They need to take his DNA and test it against any other murder of young girls. Uh, Because that's what they did. That's what you do if you're in that kind of mind frame um you go out further at first you go out you don't want to get caught whatever then, then you get closer to home and close is there a series of murder that kind of is kind of and then they get they stop at champagne urbana because he was he doing this while he was the undergrad uh are there like unknown rapes or uh you know attempted uh, abductions again within like 150 square miles or more maybe 250 who knows you know you want to I think there's something there.
I think somebody needs to look into that. I mean, of course, I can. I'm not a detective. I don't. I, I, shit. So I'm asking for your help. Comment below. Maybe, uh, maybe if we're already doing this. Am I the only one that thought, has thought this? That he may might be tied to other crimes. Perhaps, maybe, but surely cops. And again, cops are only, you know, uh, on their free time. That's the last thing they want to do unless they're just like obsessed with their job. But that's what they, they got kids and families and barbecues and beers to drink. If they're in Champaign-Urbana, shit, there's a lot to do. A lot of good food. A lot of cool bars. A lot of, it's got to be like that till this day. I mean, um used to be off the chain. There were so many cool like thrift stores and little music stores and bars. And um, every night you could go. It was fun. I mean, you kind of like, well, should we do this? Should we do this? Let's hit them all. You know, this. that's what we do. We just, hey, good times. Um, I don't know, something suspicious. I think that he, uh, that's it in his only ground. Yeah, he, he, uh, there's no way. No way. You have to first like test the water, put, put, put your toe on the water, see what he did something else. Uh, he had to have. That's how crime, it, it's, it's a snowball effect. It's, it's a, you know, it's progressive. It grows. It's like a cancer. You first start doing it, trying it. Next thing you know, you get away with one. And oh my God. And then you start thinking about it. You need it again. You know, it's like a drug or something. And then you get, you get closer to home. Of course, they're going to go out about, did he do the Delphi? I don't know. Because they have video of the bridge guy. How tall was that guy? How much did he weigh? You know, what was he, where was he February 13th on 2017 when the Delphi murders happened? Did he, is he, Um, I don't know. Again, my humble opinion, because there was a lot of strange stuff going around in that Midwest area. And then they arrest him. It's like, well, now we're back to normal. Did he like, uh, was he like a, perhaps, maybe, let's keep it at that. But it's a shame. Pray for Yang Yang and her, if I hope I'm saying that right, Yang Yang. Pray for uh, her family. Pray for her. Pray for all the students there. Pray for the town. That's a great town. That's a great school. Good people. They should be tarnished by some one dude who is like a, a freak. Um, and I hope it's not. I don't think it is. But there's a lot of, uh, at, at least they got it solved. At least this isn't some kind of, you know, who, what, did, 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 you know. And the campus police, believe me, man, you can't get away with. They're going to get you. They are going to get you. There's cameras everywhere, and they're determined. They can't have it back because these kids come and spend a lot of money. See, they don't want it to be all had. But, again, you can't stop people from being themselves. You can't keep, stop them from themselves. You can't stop crime. It's going to happen. That's human nature all through time. I get it. But the security and the campus police are on the money. They always have been. You can't get away with, I mean, there were times I got pulled over, like, where did they come from? You, I got what? Uh, I've been arrested by campus police back in the day. Thanks. But um, yeah, good times. I, I uh, again, I love Champaign-Urbana. To this day, I have friends that are, you know, some of my oldest friends. Um, I consider it like a second hometown. I spent a lot of time there. I lived there from 88 to 94. And then I went back in like 99 and spent like a summer or whatever. But uh, yeah, I spent like a good six solid years. I moved to 94. My band at the time was playing all over. I knew everybody. The mayor, the sheriff. I mean, we I knew everybody. Uh, and all the bands and all the, I mean, I knew a lot of students. Which we have, you have fans. You have like, you know, you're going to these, they're inviting you to dinner parties and parties and keggers. And it's just endless. After a while, you're just like, damn, I need some sleep. You know, shit. I remember the hangovers, dear Lord. That that's a that used to be a party in town. Of course, these students had never been away from home, and they got money, and they love beer, uh, and the food, the food. There's so many great pizza places and just everything. You can get little Asian markets and stuff like that. I mean, it was just awesome. Uh, 
perfect for a student that wants to go get a great education. A lot of people just stay there. Like, hey, I love this area, you know, why not? So I hope this doesn't tarnish the Champaign-Urbana uh, and the campus and the fighting in Illini. Good people, soft of the earth, and they're doing a, 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 a service to the world. They're educating great minds from all over the world. Um, a top 10 school, maybe one of the best. Maybe don't get the credit it should. And, uh, but yeah, I might do another deep dive on this. I got to do, because I watched a documentary about it and then I did some Googling on it. Uh, it was referred to me by a friend from Champaign or She's like, hey, you might want to have you heard about this. I thought, you know what? I have and I will. <laughs> and I did. So yeah, I might do a, like a, a, a series. I might look through, have they looked into him on the Delphi murder? Is he the bridge guy in the Delphi thing? Uh, we shall see. But look, I rant like a madman every day. So I'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> I love y'all. Be blessed. Cheers.